go over the system and then you'll find developer options click on that and you may not see both of these options at the beginning but make sure that you do enable the adb debugging make sure that's turned on and if you do see the other one then go ahead and enable it also make sure that they're both turned on but either way it's most important that you do turn on The IP address is the second one from the top under SSID Netgear. Right below that, the 192, copy that down, and then you're pretty much done with the Amazon Fire TV. Let's just double check really quick and make sure that we have the ADB debugging turned on. I just go ahead and unplug the Fire TV from the power and plug it right back in to reboot it.